My recording studio main PC workstation is a custom build that is running on an MSI Mag Z790 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi motherboard. Boy, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Anyway, I went to install a new M2 drive so that I can run Ubuntu Studio on this machine. And I ran into a bit of a lane sharing issue that caused my number one and two SATA ports to fail. And they are no longer recognizing the large SATA HDD hard drive that I've got plugged in, nor is it recognizing my SATA DVD and Blu-ray burner. So I dug into the issue a little bit and I found out what might be causing the problem. So I'm going to give this fix a try and hopefully it works and it might be something that will help you if you're encountering a similar situation. I'm going to use my little laser pointer to show you. I plugged my new SSD into the M2 slot number three and my SATA devices are running on SATA ports one and two over here. Or at least they were running before I plugged in that new M2 SSD. So I went ahead and consulted with the owner's manual of the MSI Mag Z790 Tomahawk. And sure enough, right down there highlighted in blue, it says the SATA 1 and 2 will be unavailable when installing M2 SSD in the M2 number 3 slot. So once again, when installing an M2 SSD on the number 3 SSD slot, it is going to disable these two SATA ports, number one and two. And this is the result of something called lane sharing. It's basically a hardware limitation, and the only way to do anything about it is to move those SATA connected devices up to these SATA ports over here. And if you're looking at the diagram in the manual, so those two ports right there are the ones that get disabled, and these are the ports that you need to plug into. So I'm going to reroute my SATA cables to SATA ports 6 and 8, and let's see if that fixes the issue. Always make sure you power off your machine completely and unplug the power cable before you do any work on it. But you can see here that I have rerouted both of those SATA devices over to port 6 and port 8. And once I got that swapped and booted back up, sure enough, that seemed to fix the issue. It's this uh, 4 terabyte spinning disk that was not visible before and it looks like it's back and it looks like my blu-ray burner is back in business too if this video helped you please hit the thumbs up button and if you have one of these msi motherboards please consider subscribing to this channel because you know these things can be a little fickle i'll make sure and post any fixes and tips and tricks in the future as i discover them see you next time